Hello and uh, welcome. Lovely to see you. I'm Robin Murch. I'm retired clergyman, Church of England, and I do pictures. I call myself a theological artist. Um, and this is one of the pictures which I want to show to you and explain to you. It's a picture of Cornerstone Church. Cornerstone Church is in Cranbrook. Cranbrook is on the outskirts of Exeter and it is a new town area which is growing and growing. It's been there six years and plenty to come. And at the heart of uh, Cranbrook, in a small way, we have our, our church, Cornerstone Church, which is an ecumenical endeavour um, with a few Christians there working for the community and witnessing to their faith. Um, I'm very pleased to be part of that church. I like a bit of adventure and a challenge and there's plenty of that there. <laughs> and um, it's, it's a, a very lovely group of people. Um, and so this is my interpretation of uh, our mission and presence in Cranbrook as I see it in a, in a picture form for you. So over on the left at the top, you'll see uh, the alpha sign. And the alpha sign reminds us of the creative love of God uh, pouring out on the world all the time. Uh, you'll see a sunrise and you'll see the Devon countryside and then you'll see Cranbrook and its housing areas slowly coming down the left hand side of the picture. Some of it you will recognise. Perhaps that um, old tree that is a dead tree that's uh, quite a feature of our community really in its funny way indicating the old rustic way of the old farmland that used to be there not so long ago now. And then we go on down and we can see the playground and we can see the awning, which is one day we hope to be a place of prayer. And, and then here we go into St. Martin's Church, uh, into St. Martin's School. And that is where the Cornerstone Church folks meet regularly or have done up until recently. Um, for prayer and worship and sharing together and in the centre of the picture you'll see us there uh, round the table uh, with bread and wine uh, in having communion. I'm afraid they're rather cartoonish sort of faces but they're all pretty happy anyhow. But below the table you'll see uh, four sort of glass windows um, like you would have in church, um, one indicating Christmas and the birth of Jesus, then the crucifixion, Good Friday, then Easter Day, and then finally the outpouring of the Holy Spirit uh, on, on the disciples and on God's church thereafter. Um, and that is the cornerstone, and that's why I have this central to the, the, the whole picture. On the other side, we have uh, the Omega scene at the very top. Um, also a, a Calvary cross reminding us, yes, the end of life for Jesus was the beginning of a new, all within the love of God as we see it in an Omega scene. And, and then this side of the picture is, is Cranbrook by night. Um, and we have a, a face of a young person uh, looking out at us and beside the young person in candles, candle lit, which is a symbol of Christ's presence beside and with the young person. The young person has lots of questions to answer and discover and uh, that, that is for us. So Cranbrook is very much a young family's uh, place at this time and it is our duty as uh, Christian people in Cranbrook uh, to help people with their inner life, their prayer and, uh, and support them in whatever ways we can. And you'll see the flowing of the 
blue line which is the creative spirit of that going coming down the road as it were around and into school and then we have the from the alpha the red line coming down which is God's compassionate love for us as well and that all comes back into our cornerstone church so there's quite a lot to think about there and you may recognize one or two pictures of uh, things in there uh, the, there is a railway train in, in the distance there and uh, new housing areas because it's impossible to put several thousand pictures of houses on a piece of paper like this but um but the the message we want to share um as Christians is that the presence of God is with us in all these things and he's there to love support help and guide us and that is what Cornerstone is all about and I'm glad to be a very small part of that and I hope this picture will have helped you understand that more fully and that you will be blessed and that sort of understanding so do pray for for Cranbrook and we pray for the Cornerstone Church and its work of making the presence and love of God known widely in this new development. Father we thank you for Cornerstone, we thank you for Cranbrook and we pray pour out your spirit on all of us that we may do well, support one another and find the comfort of your presence in all our lives. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you enjoyed that picture.